Alright guys, welcome back today. We are going to talk about Bitcoin. We are going to talk about crypto and what we can see here in the coming near future. Okay, so obviously when we look at this from a zoomed out lens, right, it looks very clear that hopefully we can see we've formed a bottom here. But this was one of the longest bear markets in a while. I mean, this was, you know, close to 400 days here. As we can compare with previous cycles, you know, 340 days, usually 350. So it does look like we have created a bottom here. But I'm going to go in and talk about the four hour and the smaller time frames. I want to go over what I'm seeing here, also what positions I have opened. Real quick, guys, this video is sponsored by Doric Network. Big thank you to them. If you want to check them out, link in description. Very cool project. I mean, they're, they're allowing people to tokenize huge assets such as real estate, all the way to allowing you to create your own ERC20 token with their token creator. So I'll put the link in description for that. But let's jump into this right here, guys. So when we look at the chart, obviously we knew $30,000 was going to be a huge area of resistance. But I want to jump into why I entered a short position over here at around 28K. Because when we look at the daily EMA, guys, it tells a beautiful story. We can see right here how clear, how strong this area is right here of resistance, right? We can clearly see it makes a lot of sense that we would get rejected right here off that $27,000 level. Now, I have closed my short position. It was, you know, it was a beautiful short because actually something you could have done two or three times. Now, I only took advantage of it once, but you can see very clearly here. Enter this right here, the short position from here, take profit down here. You could see how, how clear it was. Now, what I'm seeing for the near short term, guys, obviously we have found support around 26K. I'm looking for Bitcoin to either push back up to 27,000, in which I would enter another position. If not, then what I would be looking for, guys, is for Bitcoin to actually find support down at 25,000. You can see right here, this would make a lot of sense to me, guys. Right here, this area right if we can if we can see right here ema as well as showing us that we can see that this would be a point where we could definitely see bitcoin finding some support however if bitcoin loses this area we can easily see what's going on here we can see this pattern guys so if bitcoin were to lose this zone i would definitely be looking at bitcoin for bitcoin to drop down even as low as 21 20 thousand dollars so why is this happening what happened here guys let's take a look so Clearly, we can see the DXY has been on a nasty run, huge run. I mean, I believe it's only been about 20 days, yeah, something like that, around 18 days. But you can see the DXY, I'm looking very closely here, guys. I've been watching this very closely, because as we know, as the DXY continues to rise, in general, Bitcoin will do the opposite. It is not a good thing when we see the DXY continue pumping. So I'm watching very closely, guys, for the DXY to break above this 1.4 area, 105 area. And if it's able to do that, I'm then looking for the DXY to possibly top out over here at around 106. And this is where I would enter that short position I just talked about. So I'm watching that very closely. Now, S&P, obviously, as we can see, makes a lot of sense, guys. If you guys remember a few months back, we were saying that this looked like a very clear bottom. 3580 made a lot of sense. But at this point, we're trying to see if the S&P is also able to break above this 4160 zone. This is a very important level right here. So you can see, very important right here, very important level. If the S&P is able to push above, I would definitely be looking for the S&P to probably top out over here around 4,300. So I'm watching this very closely as well, guys. Just wanna go over this fear and greed index sitting very neutral right now, 50 points. You know, it hasn't been moving too much, but when we look at this, guys, just some interesting news here. So it looks like the Democrats and the Republican party Either, either or are looking like they're going to support Bitcoin. Ron DeSantis just recently announced his run. If you guys don't know, he's, I believe, Florida governor, and he's announcing his run. And he also announced that he would definitely be backing Bitcoin and not a CBDC. So that's re actually really good to hear as Americans, right? Other thing I wanted to show you guys, very interesting here. Obviously, again, where do you see this line? $30,000 level, very key, important level. But, you know, it's interesting to look at these charts. Obviously, we don't give too much credit to them, but it looks like we are seeing something similar happen from 2014 to 17 as 2020 to 2023 today. So hopefully we can see Bitcoin break above that point. Other than that, guys, I just want to show you very closely here, again, just to go over it, give you an idea. If we can see Bitcoin 
push back above and get a good you know retest here push back above to around the 27,000 27.5k level i would be looking for another short position however if we were to see bitcoin fall back down i would definitely be looking for a long position over here around 25,000 so i just wanted to give you guys that analysis real quick remember thank you to the sponsor of the video make sure to check them out link in description take it easy guys